Did you call me? Yeah. I'll help you win, but lunch is on you. I only handle technical matters. Did you call- One, two, yes, all accounted for. the entire hollow. Let's keep going and explore further. Uh, is this a railroad switch? Weird. It looks like a mining one. Seems like we're going in the right direction. Let's give it a gentle hammering. Hey this wall is tough, but my hammer is harder. Again! <laughs> There's the path. Follow me, Proxy. No, I've never liked that principal. Obviously, he's super suspicious. I mean, what principal would just leave a hollow to grow all willy-nilly next to his school? And even try to cover it up? But it's not just because of that. I... I'm not great at dealing with adults who are so... adult-like. I never get what they're thinking. They barely ever say what they're really thinking. Maybe they'll spill to their friends, but to their family? Yeah, never. Does this make you think of your father? <laughs> no way! Now's not the time for chit-chat, though. Let's go, Proxy. If you need my hammer, just say the word. I have detected unusual activities in a certain area. That must be the real entrance to the hollow. Lead the way, Proxy. If you need me to smash some walls, just say the word. Yeah. 
hammered flat. <laughs> A group of active ethereals is blocking the way. You can either eliminate them and proceed, or retreat and explore this area further. Materials here aren't very big. Seems like the ether concentration isn't too high. However, the environment is highly unstable, meaning that it's often disturbed. The air is full of dust from mining ether crystals. That's right. All this points to one conclusion. Someone has been illegally mining ether resources here. How much you want to bet all this dust in the air is just like that chalk on the principal's clothes just now. Unsurprisingly, the principal must have something to do with what's happening here. Oh, damn it! He's turned this hollow into a ticking time bomb! And right next to the school, too. This hollow is extremely unstable. It could rapidly expand at any moment. Roxy, can I ask you a favor? From here on out, Please do whatever you can to avoid fighting. It'll just disturb the ether environment even further. I'm worried something's gonna happen. I got it. Leave it to me. Thanks. I'm counting on you. Let's continue, but be careful. I have marked a suspicious location for you, Master. I am unable to assess the threat level nearby due to the sealed gate. I have located the verification devices needed. How are we supposed to get through? Let's keep exploring and see.
This little gadget's a bit complicated, isn't it, Proxy? We are getting closer to one of the verification devices, Master. Hey, it's starting to loosen! Let's give it another try! Master, please be careful. The sound of the wall collapsing has attracted ethereals. Explosives here. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Efficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Hey, it's starting to loosen! Let's give it another try! We got two. Let's look for the last one! up with another plan. Hey, it's starting to loosen. Let's give it another try. It appears the ethereal sphere will not let us pass easily. It appears a battle is inevitable. Uh, 
Here we go! <laughs> Don't blink! You'll make me dash you into the ground! Verification completed. The door is open. If it isn't the president of Bellabog Industries, Miss Bellabog, it has been a while. Or should I call you our newest transfer student, young Kaleida? Don't be so surprised. Your name may not be in the register, nor have you ever shown your face to me. But as the principal of the school, I have my ways of knowing. Though I am a little late to the scene, I realized you were scheming something. It's good I arrived on time. President Kaleida, are you not busy? No matter how much you enjoy playing house, don't forget that you have more important things to do than interfering with my gold mine. Uh, excuse me, but since I'm already here, does that mean you'd know something about the group of criminals illegally mining ether resources, making the hollow more and more unstable? What? Is that so? I had no idea. They're right next to you. You gonna stick to that story even if the association comes? Nothing's happened with this hollow yet. So why would the association get involved? They have countless more urgent hollow disasters to deal with every day. Meanwhile, this risk is just that. A risk and nothing more. We can bet Denny's on it. 
Even if you send the association the coordinates, all they'll do is call me to confirm its existence. By the time they actually send someone here, my child might already be in university. Ugh. Little president, this is the world of grown-ups. The rules of the game are made for mature adults. You still have the chance to learn these rules. Do me a favor and try the mature thing for a change. Run along now, go watch a play, cry a bit. Let go of your unnecessary sense of justice and forget all that happened here. By the way, my good friend is looking for a contractor. Should I give him a call and mention Bellabog Heavy Industries? Uh, you're really treating me like a kid. Huh? Who said you could leave just like that? Calm down, Kaleida. This is risky. Stay close. Oh, welcome back, President Kaleida. Oh, poor me. <laughs> I feel like a tired office worker trying to meet their deadlines at a cafe, and there's a crying child that just won't shut up. Nothing is just black or white. And in the gray area, I just want to make a little extra dough. That's not against the rules. Why do you insist on harassing an aging father who simply wants to make some extra income to give his child a better life? An education. How do you have the nerve to say that? So your kid deserves a better life, huh? She's not the only kid. Have you never once thought of how, if the hollow expanded, all the other kids in your school would be in danger too? It won't. My luck has always been good. You see, sometimes you simply have to believe in your luck for it to do its job. And on the off chance things don't work out, it wouldn't be my responsibility. After all, if you and your people clashed with these thugs in the hollow, thereby causing an unfortunate disaster, that's not something I can help, right? That principle sure is a slippery one, but... Listen up, boys! Let's teach these punks a lesson. Oh no. If they start a fight now, it'll disturb the ether environment. Please. Bastards! The hell is wrong with you? Hollow oh. activity is on the rise. We'll just have to fend them off first. As you will. Look. <laughs> Move it! Magic! 
Detected a sudden expanding of the hollow. Bell, are all of you all right? Uh -huh. ah, damn it! Damn it! What was the point of just us being careful? They still got away, and the hollow's expanding anyway! Oh, damn it! Damn it! If only I'd. Just stay calm. Give me some time. I can find them. Collecting hollow expansion data. The hollow activity is immensely high, requiring the collection of a significant amount of data. Please ensure I have stable access to electricity, second assistant. All right, I've unplugged my phone charger. That's all we have, so try to hold back a little if you can. Collecting data. Currently collecting data from master surroundings. Lost item data. Bangboo activity data. Human voice print data. All of this data is totally irrelevant to the expansion of the hollow. Why are you wasting the electricity on it? Master, I have captured a nearby human voice not belonging to that prior group. Now broadcasting. Um, me. Transfer student. Over here. It's this way. That voice. Emmy, why is she here? Can you track her coordinates wise? I can but I'll need some time. The worst case scenario would be if the expanding hollow reaches the school, and Emmy isn't the only kid who gets caught up in it. Yeah. Right now, our priority is to check on the kids and make sure they're all right. I got it. I'll go find Grace and find out what's happening. I'll head out then. Let me know if anything else happens, Proxy. <laughs> 